democracy is facing a challenge to some extent from yes. uh, the, the change in the winds it towards the left and the right. I would suggest actually established parties within democracy are facing a challenge. I would actually say the fragmentation of politics is actually a new phase of democracy where actually people aren't tied to the old parties of the past. Yep, because they're being influenced on social media sides of that. Because the old parties of the past have to listen to count. <laughs> That's one interpretation. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I think it's great no. that we have a proliferation of new parties. Actually, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I would say that, in fact, a lot of this, uh, this meddling that we're seeing, you're just going for it, I can see you. Uh, <laughs> all this meddling that we've Whoa. been seeing really is about sort of is that? continued consolidation of power. That's the story, right? And what, it's a TV. what a lot of this, what, what I think the question. The get-together more than a decade before Epstein pleaded guilty to prostitution charges in Florida. If you look at the political outcomes we've seen, actually a lot of them make sense. It's a waste of time. Because we've, we've had That's stasis. wrong. Because people are fed TV up with wasn't working. With no new ideas. Yeah, you get it fixed We're tomorrow. We're just running up debt and impoverishing communities because wage bills are not going up. Right, but I, I would disagree. I think that that, ma that I think that the psychological uh, manipulation of users is has crossed a line. I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. Look, ratings are driven a lot of times by conflict. New technology is making digital media manipulation easier than ever.